Good morning, you guys. I know I've been gone for like a month. I can explain, I will explain, but I have a project and I'm here to share it with you all. So yesterday I just came back from my vacation. Um, I was also celebrating my 29th birthday. I went to Los Angeles. I met up with my brother who I have not seen in the past 20 years. That's what I'm gonna be explaining to you guys in another video. But anyways, so I obviously do not look as good as I did before I left. So I am here to document my shred. Um, so I have a wedding coming up. My cousin, my immediate cousin is getting married in about three weeks and I am cutting for his wedding. I knew he was getting married before I went on my trip and I really didn't care because this was my birthday trip. No one dies on vacation. So I am back, I'm ready to get serious. I'm ready to get my life together and I'm ready to get this bloat down because obviously I am very bloated. Um, so this is going to be a shredding video that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to share my workouts. I'm going to share what I'm eating. I'm going to share what I'm fasting. Is it what I'm fasting? How I'm fasting. I'm going to share that with you all. And I'm going to share with you all the physical changes as well because the physical changes I honestly believe are usually better than the skill changes. Because it's amazing to see the body like get rid of bloat, get rid of inflammation. And you all know I am like big on getting rid of inflammation. If you don't know, go watch my fasting videos. So anyways, this is what your girl looks like. The one area of my body that I normally gain weight in, first and foremost, is always my stomach. If I gain weight anywhere, it's my stomach and then my thighs. And honestly, you would think if I was gaining weight in my thighs, some of it would go to my butt, but it doesn't. I don't know why. I don't really look that bad like I just got wider whatever um so we are gonna start with the weigh-in and then we're gonna do a few before and after shots so we're gonna do front side back just so you guys can capture all my <laughs> ugly parts it's like not I'm not ugly but no seriously I do want to document this just to show you guys that taking a break from your diet or taking a break from keto taking a break from fasting and just living life is not the end of the world. Like you can honestly get back to where you were. You can get back to where you left off by just a little making a few changes, you know, like letting go of the sugar, letting go of the donuts. I had about six donuts from Voodoo Donuts. Judge your mother. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. All right, so let's get this weight. I wonder if you guys can see this. So that says 252.6. I was 238 before I got ready and left for my trip. Can you see my head, shoulders, knees, and toes? No? Okay, whatever. Um, so these are the before shots. Let me roll down my swimsuits. Oh, so I'm gonna, um, so yeah, this is what we are looking like. There's no sucking in going on. Um, one, two, three. Here it is, folks. Here it is. My love handle definitely came back full force. Like these suckers, just, um, but that's fine. The same way they came is the same way they're gonna go. All right, so this is the front view. This is the side. <laughs> no sucking in, no sucking in. Here we are. Put my tag in because I can feel it. Here we are. My back actually still looks good. So we are okay in the back department. Um, it's just the lower back department that is just not cooperating, but it was not cooperating before my trip. So I think we're okay. Um, another side view. So I'm not going to be doing anything drastic. No, I'm not going to do a five-day fast. Um, a lot of people think I do fasting for weight loss, and a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, she's probably going to do an extended fast and this and that. No. I'm going to do my regular intermittent fasting. I'm probably going to do 16 hours today. Because I've been eating so much and I've been eating so much junk food, I know I'm going to get hungry earlier in the day. So I'm not going to try and starve myself through the hunger. I'm going to actually eat. Um, I'm going to 
going to eat regularly for the remainder of the week. I'll probably do a three-day fast next week just to get rid of inflammation, but it's not for any other reason but for inflammation. When you do consume a lot of sugar, it does cause inflammation. And I know for a fact I'm inflamed. No, my body is not aching, but I am a crazy bloated. I was also taking prednisone, which is a steroid, because the day before my trip, I had an allergic reaction where my lip swelled up so bad, you guys. I'm going to post a picture. It swelled up so bad. Um, so I went to the urgent care. They put me on prednisone, which makes you eat a lot and then cause like a slight weight gain and it causes bloating. So the reason I'll be fasting next week for three days is to just get rid of that. But other than that, I'm going to be chilling this week. I'm going to do my 16, 18 hour fast. I'm going to keep it low carb. I'm going to keep it no sugar. I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to do a gallon of water. Um, yeah, but I'm not doing anything drastic. So I'm going to take you guys along what I'll be doing this week to slowly get back into the swing of things, how to get back into ketosis. Because as of right now, sweetheart, I know for a fact I'm not in ketosis. If I was to check my ketones, it would say lost. It doesn't say low. It would say lost. Because, like, where are you? You are not in keto, you know? Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do that. And you guys are going to come along for this ride. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to get dressed for work. And then we're going to go upstairs and make some coffee. Because I'm going to need some coffee. Coming from the West Coast to the East Coast, I honestly think I'm going to be jet lagged around, like, 12 o'clock. Mind you, I work 10 to 8. So, I cannot get tired. I cannot get sleepy because we don't get adult naps at work, okay? We have to push through. So, yeah, we're gonna make some coffee. Okay? Bye! your body telling you to just take a break and honestly it's best to listen to your body um so my advice is if you feel like you just need some time off take the time off and honestly you may come back stronger you may come back faster you may come back more um motivated more enthusiastic to even to hit your goals to even change your goals for something better you know um and sometimes taking a break is what we really need to ignite that fire to keep us going stronger. And me, my breaks always make me come back stronger. A lot of people think when you take a break, you get weaker, um, strength-wise. But in my case, I normally don't get weaker. I usually get stronger. I don't know what it is, but my body likes breaks. So I take breaks. Um, I am four minutes into my walk, so I'm gonna start jogging soon. And again, it's just an easy walk. Nothing crazy. If you want to challenge yourself, put it in an implant. And that should challenge you. But that's about it. Okay? Peace. Finish my first round. With the second round, I decided to increase my incline. And I'm walking at 2.5. At 2.5 incline, I'm going to walk 
five minutes, drop the five, and then do my five sprints, and then do the double turn. Hey guys, excuse my appearance. I just got back from the gym, um, had a great workout. I wanted to update you all on a few things. So because I work in a hospital setting, I cannot record while I am at work. So I was not able to record the lunch I had in the hospital cafeteria. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys what it is that I'm doing as far as my meals. So eating wise, I'm gonna be doing OMAD, um, AKA one meal a day. I'm gonna be eating one giant meal a day moving forward for this wedding shred. Um, so today I had a big bowl of, I had a big salad. And I always like to start my meals with a big salad because one, it's filling. Two, it's a great way to break your fast because you are just pumping your body with all these vitamins and antioxidants and all this great stuff. After I had my salad, I had about 11, I see 10 to 12 Old Bay season wings. I didn't dip it in anything. I just ate it plain as it was. And then I had a packet of planters peanuts after that like the two ounce pack. I love them. It's like a dessert for me. It just, it just makes my day better. Um, and it helps with like satisfying any cravings that I may have or any like idle eating thoughts that I may have. It's like, it's like my dessert. Um, I get it from the vending machine at work. It's a dollar and 50 cents. Um, sometimes it gets a bit expensive when it's not payday, but I had a packet of that today and that was all I had. I had a gallon of water. I worked out. Honestly, I can say today was successful. Day one back in the gym, day one back on keto, and I feel great. I don't feel like I'm forcing myself to do anything. I fasted for 16 hours with no problems. Um, I had a cup of coffee around 11 o'clock. And other than that, today was great. And my next weigh-in will be on Sunday. So today we started off at 252 pounds. The goal is to be under 250 by Sunday. So I will update you all come Sunday. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.